Hi campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. We're working on another furnace out in the field. And the symptoms with this one are that it is trying to start. The fan will blow, but it will get no ignition. And what we know from our reading our manuals is that the furnace needs to go through two proofs in order for it to ignite. The first proof is I need to prove that my sail switch is made. And the second proof is I need to prove that my high limit thermostat has not been tripped. Okay. And so when your furnace is running and you have no ignition, it's going to be one of those two proofs. They both need to be proved true, that my sail switch is good and my high limit thermostat is good. So on these Atwood furnaces, what we have is this is a sail switch right here. And when we start to take it out, whoa, look inside of there. We got all kinds of dog hair and all this kind of stuff. So that would have prevented this furnace from firing. The sail switch is not able to make, okay? So... We're going to clean that up, and I expect we're going to have a good result from that. Okay, we'll let you know in just a second. Okay, campers, we're back from cleaning out the debris out of the sail switch. So let's see if, if uh, we're cooking with fire tonight. So what the furnace is doing now is it's doing about a 15-second pre-purge to clean out all the combustibles out of the chamber before it turns on the gas valve. So if our sail switch is happy, we'll have ignition about now. How about now? There we go. And we have nice warm air coming out of the furnace. So um, uh, basically what's happening is 12 volts is trying to get to this control board and it wasn't making it through the sail switch. So it has to make it through the sail switch and then we daisy chain out of the sail switch to a high limit thermostat on the heat exchanger side of the furnace and it needs to go through that high limit thermostat and then it comes back to this board on this blue wire telling the board, hey man, we're good to go. My motor is blowing at the correct RPM. Uh, my high limit thermostat has not uh, gotten too hot, therefore we can support combustion, therefore turn on the gas valve. And, um, and we have another happy camper, yay!